What's going on guys? B flat in here with a different kind of video this time. You guys are used to like either something regarding music, uh, Borderlands videos, uh, guides or tutorials, Twitch tips, but this one is a little bit different. So by the time that this video is seen, we have officially hit two years as a streamer, content creator, whatever you want to call it. And at this point in time, we have also been doing this for one year full time. Full time being 40 hours a week, uh, dedicated super hard, and this being my sole dedication and passion. March holds a ton of events with these included. It also includes the time that we hit 1,000 follows. We did this uh, March 8th of 2019. Uh, a lot of events, a lot of positivity. Um, However, with all of this positivity, uh, there has to be a downfall. There has to be a hardship, a downfall, a struggle of some sort. This all just didn't like come unfolded and things like that. This is where uh, it all began. This is the story of Be Flattened. So around this time last year, uh, actually the first week of March, a lot of things were going really, really well for me. Streaming was not a full-time thing at this point, so keep that in mind. Um, during this time, I was juggling a uh, a, a really good full-time job. I was getting paid really well. Um, I was also up for promotion at the time. I was very, very close to uh, closing in on said promotion. Uh, I was streaming on the side, so that was really, really good because I enjoy streaming. I enjoy doing this, but it wasn't a full-time thing at the point. Uh, I was also in a really good relationship at the time. Life was going really, really well. Everything was positive. Everything was great. Um, and, and then it kind of wasn't. <laughs> and then it kind of wasn't. It kind of all just fell apart. Um, the, the first one was uh, the relationship fell through. I woke up to a, a text that I wasn't really looking forward to. Um, so that ended off there. Um, really killed a lot of uh, self-confidence and things like that but we're not going to go into that um just know that it, it, it was over um a couple days later uh the job thing happened so i was up for promotion like i was mentioning earlier i was very very close to close in on it i did the time i did the hours i was up for getting out of probation uh, probationary period being like three months, not like I did something bad. Um, I was about to exit the probation period and be up for promotion. So I get called into the office one hour before work is done. And I'm like, okay, this is my shot. This is my time. This is my promotion time. And, and then it wasn't, <laughs> and then it kind of wasn't, um, he essentially told me that there was just not enough work hours, that um, me being there was just kind of a over, like an overabundance of people. Uh, so they had to let go of the most newest hire, and that was me at the time. So instead of getting the promotion, I got let go. I had an hour to get my stuff, get out, get packing, and look for something else and find some sort of stability. I had an hour to do that. Uh, they did say that they were going to call me. A little bit later on probably two months later uh, to see if they needed me again during busy season which they did uh, they did end up texting me however there was a little bit of a twist um, it was not full-time it went from full-time to temporary slash contract they said that I was going to be on uh, three months on three months off and I was gonna be you know gonna be back and forth between their busy season and their non busy seasons uh, they would put me back down to minimum wage as uh, no uh, potential of getting a promotion. Um, because I'm only temporary, I would never have a chance at getting benefits. So that includes like uh, health, dental, etc. No benefits whatsoever because it's a temporary thing. And during the times that I'm on, there are no days off, no vacationary periods, no uh, sick time, no accumulated sick time, nothing. The very bare bones that you can get from something, that's what I was offered. Um, as much as I needed a job, I said no. So that that was done. Going back in time, back to the March period, the first uh, week of March. Um, so this is basically the sum up. Uh, relationship gone, job gone, with no chance of coming back to that job because of a future offer later on. Uh, I was in a really, really rough point. Really, really rough. Um, it was not easy. Um, because it was uh, like a new month, 
Uh, there was obviously bills that were coming up at the end of the month, and I had no job and no money. So uh, there was a good potential, and I did face this directly. Uh, there was a potential that I was going to be going homeless with that. There was, if I couldn't come up with anything, I was screwed. Done. Um, so here were my options. I could toss out 900 resumes to every single Walmart fast food chain, uh, retail chain that you can possibly think of and end up hating myself because um, I'm not that kind of person to work fast food. It's just, it's not my industry. It's not my business. Uh, retail, I'm really not good with social interactions in person. I I'm doing better with camera, but um, social interactions in person, I am bad at. <laughs> I'm horrible at it. So, um, as much as I needed the money and I would have gone to it if I absolutely had to, um, that was not my first priority. Um, or option two, I could attempt full-time streaming. I could take my shot, no safety net, balls to the wall, um, do or die. So at the time there were five regular people who would stop by anywhere between five to 10 people who would regularly stop by and by all means that's a lot of people like 10 people dedicated to watching a stream one stream that's a lot of people uh it's not full-time quality though it's not a full-time um like pursue you can't pursue a full-time with uh that amount um as happy as i was um being casual to uh, uh a couple handful of people so I, I wanted to do it. I wanted to try it. So the first night that we tried it, the first night that we tried it, let me take you back in time to what happened. Uh, enjoy these clips, and then we're going to describe a little bit about what happened with that. Enjoy these clips. This has been a crazy ass stream and a very successful one. I'm just... No. 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 Next, no. The biggest no. secret the chimpanzee no. has told Jane no. Doe. No. No. Put in your votes. No. Not again. I just finished Thought Prime. Oh my god. No. No. Legit. I feel so bad for this Charmander right now because he's going to go off 49 times. Bruh. Just bump that up to 100 subs. <laughs> You absolute fucking madman. Oh my fuck. Next in the hopper? Oh my fuck. The worst thing to write in the tip section of a Oh track. my fuck. Load away. Oh my fuck. One among zeros, welcome by. How are you doing? Take that round one. The fuck? I'm at. I'm actually crying. And we're back. Uh, as you could tell, <laughs> I was a complete emotional wreck during that. Essentially, what happened was, um, I was doing a Jackbox 24 hour stream. I, th this was my, like my kickoff, was a 24 hour Jackbox stream. I had Jackbox 3 at the time, and this is also when Jackbox 5 was released. So this was a very older Jackbox. Um, what ended up happening was someone in chat asked me why I only had uh, Jackbox 3 and why I didn't have like the future buttons. So I described that I, uh, like I described the situation, I didn't have money and I was there uh, exclusively trying to raise like rent money. Uh, the person, I'm not going to be naming them. The person who ended up changing everything. <laughs> I want to say 
th this was the start. Absolutely everything. Um, drops a X amount of money and says, get all the Jackbox games. Not even five minutes later, after I was like a blubbery mess, um, he noticed that I had my TwitchCon goal up because I really wanted to go to TwitchCon 2019, which I did end up going. Uh, it was great. And the person who did this, I actually ended up getting to meet them in person. So it was, it, it was a great time. Um, he noticed that my TwitchCon goal was up there. And guess what? It gets filled up. That goal gets filled up. Number three. Number three. Another X amount of money was dropped. And he said, here, here's for the rent for the month. This should hold you over to uh, pay off your, your monthly bills so that you can, you know, stand on your feet again. <laughs> um, and after I was dying of that, uh, at this time, underneath my camera, I had a sub count and I also had a follow, like our, our recent follow name. So he wondered what the number 50 was underneath my name and he bumps that up to 100, a triple digit. This is all in the span of about 15, 20 minutes. So I was, as you can see in those clips, I was crying. That broke me. That was a really, that, that was a hard time. That was a very, very hard time. And this was sort of the, um like love that i received and it was i couldn't believe it so march was good march was um march was paid off i was able to um survive throughout march and then april comes around i have to do the exact same thing uh i hadn't found a job at this time there was no uh, replies. I had applied at a few different places, a few places that I would actually be interested in. Uh, I got a lot of interviews and um, nothing just ended up working out. So April comes around. April comes around and the same scenario happens. Uh, what am I going to do? So this was around the time that Borderlands Game of the Year edition was released. Uh, this was the remaster of Borderlands 1. Um, a friend of mine actually, uh, who's a mod in chat, he ended up gifting borderlands one to me on steam and if you uh if you didn't know if you own borderlands one on steam you got the remaster completely for free so it's kind of like a two in one deal so i got that and we ended up playing together for uh, quite some time we were just doing some casual farms on Karl Marax, the uh, invincible boss it was a lovely time and then we have another clip that happened as to why i i believe that april blew over so well and why we are here where we are now. Oh my god. Oh my god. Jolts. Oh my god. Jolts, wait. Oh my god. Jolts. Oh my god. Um. Jolts. Oh my god. Jolts. Jolts. Oh my god. Jolts, he does <laughs> I, I may have lost breath. I may have lost breath. Oh my god. So as you can see, uh, it was really, really hard for me to like actually function when that happened because this was the most amount of people that I've ever had uh, like almost 20 times over. There was a lot of people there. Chat was flying. I couldn't catch up. It was even hard to like physically function. I'm, I'm not... I, I, I ran that over again. I can't even speak right now just thinking about it. Uh, it was hard to breathe. I, I coughed in the clip. Um... It was nuts. It was absolutely nuts. Since that day, um, those have been frequent, like quite frequent. A lot of uh, people ended up getting to notice me off of that. Like there was a spotlight that was directly on me. Like when the number one notices you, you have a lot of eyes on you and you have big shoes to fill. And since that, I had a bigger drive and motivation to continue. And to work even harder. Um, a lot of series came out for Borderlands 2 that I ended up doing and completing. Um, a lot of people started noticing and picking up on that. Um, and that's where like viewership traction started showing up. And we did that all the way up until Borderlands 3, the release of that. Uh, we did 38 hours straight. We did our unofficial broken record. Um, and here we are today. Um, I can definitely say that I haven't necessarily wanted to look for another job because uh, I don't want another one. This is what I want. 
Um, and I haven't had one since last March. It's been exactly a year. Um, by the time you guys see this, it's been exactly a year since the like the downfall and hardship happened. Uh, I haven't been to another place yet. I haven't. This is just what I've been doing. We've been riding on this. Still no safety net. Still balls to the wall. Um, and it goes off of something that I heard quite a long time ago. And I've been sticking to that uh, for quite some time. And uh, it's something that I truly believe in. Um, when you have all the pressure on you, when you have a like lighter or match underneath your butt, that is when the best content from you will show up. When it's do or die, when it's like something that you're literally living off of, that's when your best content is going to come out and when it's going to be forced out of you. Um, not forced in an uncomfortable way. Well, kind of an uncomfortable way. Um, it's all dependent on how you go about being uncomfortable. If you channel it in a good way, if you channel uncomfortableness in a motivating style, it's a good uncomfortable and it is an uncomfortable that I want to be in. Um, and it's something that I'm always going to say I'm never going to be the best uh, content creator ever. However, um, if I shoot for being one of the best, I can at least, at the very least, reach excellence. And that is what I want to I continue doing into this year. Um, we've had multiple goals, multiple milestones. We break down walls every single time, and it's nuts. And uh, going into year three... This is year two now. Going into year three, um, we're, we're not going to be stopping. No, not a chance. There's a lot of new things that are coming, and I can't wait to bring all of you guys with me, and I can't wait to uh, keep on providing for you guys. Uh, we just hit the 15-minute mark as of recording before edits, so I feel like I've rambled on a little bit too much. But um, but thank you all so much for listening to uh, a person who has a story and a person who wanted to share said story with like the best damn community on this platform. Uh, and I might be a little biased when I say the best, but I know wholeheartedly that we have the best. And uh, we're just going to be con continuing to grow the best community on Twitch. Thank you all so much for listening. My name is B Flatting, guys, and I'm signing on out of here. Take care, all.